So here we are at the electronic shop. This was necessary because of the ELX, the electric harmonica, which you may have also seen on YouTube. First, I want to tell you the story of the ELX. It all starts right here. Okay, now I really feel like Mr. Rogers. This is a golden melody that I had instrumented with two relatively expensive proximity sensors. This was done to measure the motion of the reeds while Howard Levy, who was invited to Pittsburgh by Dr. Henry Bonson, was playing. And it allowed us to study some very interesting phenomena of uh, how the reeds interact. And that's actually published in a journal of Acoustic Society of America. So this instrument allows me to create an electrical signal that I can record in the computer and watch this motion. One day, by accident, we were recording in a uh, music studio and the technician flipped the switch. And that signal went to the speaker system. And I heard sound, which sounded like music. And then it suddenly occurred to me, this is an electric harmonica. So that then inspired me to make a version of this that had multiple sensors. There's a couple of them in here. Uh, let's start with that one. So this dates back to probably the year 2000, 2001. I was really enthusiastic about the, the whole concept. Okay, this is one in which I had painstakingly glued little strips of piezoelectric film onto each of the reeds and then collect, connected them uh, electronically. I can't even believe to this day I went through such trouble. Um, to um, uh, a summer circuit, which then went to um, a quarter inch through, coincidentally, a DIN connector. And it, it worked relatively well, surprisingly well. I bet you I could even make it work now, but I'm not going to get a chance. <laughs> and I showed this to um, Hooner. I actually went with my uncle down to, um, was it Blacksburg, Virginia? or is it North Carolina? We went to North Carolina and demonstrated it to them. And they were just not impressed. I don't think they were really into uh, innovation at the time. This is the inside of that harmonica. That little silver strip is that um, piezoelectric material that I just uh, alluded to. And then we made a different version on a different principle. And because it was so painstaking to apply something to the reeds, and it also alters the pitch, which means you need to retune, that inspired me to look into optical sensors. So here are early prototypes of the EOX using uh, an optical sensor board, which I will show you in just a second. Right here, here's some of the early ELX sensor boards. There are the optical sensors. They go inside this plastic case that was um, uh, kind of injection molded. And again, it, it kind of worked. It had some issues. And because of those issues, we modified the circuit multiple, multiple times. And we're now we're on the, like this fifth generation. That said, it's still not perfect, and it really bugs me that it's not perfect. And that's what's inspiring us uh, to work on the next thing. But uh, the way that they're made is first, circuit boards need to be uh, assembled. Um, I need to do some modifications on them by hand, and that's part of the reason that I'm electing to sell out this inventory and just not do this anymore. Because of uh, issues with noise that these um, uh, sensor boards create, it prompted me to, to create or to, uh, to add a, uh, a belt pack. So this goes on the belt, part goes in here, a sound comes out here, or the line level comes out here. And that's yet another step that's kind of time consuming and painstaking. So um, I don't really enjoy doing that. But when that gets assembled, we swing over here, 
where I do the testing. And okay, the first thing you're going to hear when I open this is the sound of the lights. Oh, let's see if I turn it on. But let's not do that. Let me just turn it on. <laughs> Okay, so this is connected to this little PV amp, which, by the way, I think I had in high school for my guitar. I don't have a guitar anymore. Um, and then the amp goes to the oscilloscope so I can look at the waveform. And then I can modify, make adjustments so that all of the reads are you know, relatively equal and that there's no dropout. If you had seen uh, the ELX video on YouTube, it's on our channel, um, you would remember kind of this scene where I introduced the ELX in which I turned the volume up to 10. That hum, by the way, is the lights. I'm going to actually turn the lights off so you can appreciate that. One second. Yeah, because they're optical sensors, it never occurred to me that lights, which are powered by 60 hertz AC, is going to create a signal. So that really kind of sucked and uh, prompted us to have to add a 60 hertz filter. But let's do that experiment one more time. Which is pretty loud. You could kind of compare that to a really, really hot mic. I'll turn the lights back on. And um, i uh, just say that we're going to be kind of uh, shutting down this electronics shop and we're going to be kind of discontinuing the ELX because we're really eager to work on the next thing, which is that MIDI harp that I had showed in the other room. We, we did have a MIDI prototype. I think there's another video. Yes, there is another video that we demonstrated here. But now we're looking to make it um, inexpensive and... Um, really easy and fun to use and you know that's the story of my life is I'm not uh, very excited about being um, uh, uh, an assembly line I'm more interested in the R&D and the development and the creative part of uh, harmonica and it's uh, it's all been really in the spirit of the harmonica players like you that I've met that really appreciate the innovation and uh, give us feedback that we're making a difference and that's really the greatest reward although it would be nice to make money one of these days thanks so much for visiting we'll uh, stay tuned because we'll have another video on the MIDI harp in the not too distant future